my wife and I recently moved into our first house. We keep to ourselves, but try to be friendly with the neighbors. Yesterday, one of our neighbor's kids came to our door and asked if he could vacuum our home. A bit confused, but trying to be a good neighbor, we said he could vacuum downstairs. <laughs> Like a good neighbor, <laughs> vacuum my house. It took about 10 minutes, and we gave him $5. What? As he left, he gave us a handmade business card that said... <laughs> <laughs> it said, I will vacuum your house for $20. <laughs> now we're living with the shame of underpaying a 12-year-old for a service we didn't want or ask for. Do we owe this kid $15? If so... How do we give him the money? Help. Spotless in Seattle. This kid. I will vacuum your house for $20. <laughs> <laughs> this kid had, let's just let's just confront this, a pocket full of business cards that said, I will vacuum your house for, and then 15 more dollars for however much money you gave him. If you gave him $50, right. he would say, for $65, I will vacuum your whole house. And it's a good racket. It's a good racket yeah. to get into. Good scam. Because that's the thing. It has to be like an artful dodger, like kind of, uh, you know, the young gang of vacuuming scam artists. Because what kid just like rolls up? It's one thing for like, I'll, va- I'll mow your lawn or whatever, but like, I'll vacuum your house? That kid probably also stole some of your jewelry. Put the vacuum into the jewelry box, sucked all the treasures up. I, I think you might be in the clear because the terms were not agreed upon before. Right, this is not how business cards work. It's not yeah, a. It's not. It's a business this. card, not an invoice. You need to be ready for the fact that this kid is going to come back, yeah. and he's going to offer you the service again, and you are going to need to think of a reason why you said yes the first time, <laughs> but now it's a no from now on. <laughs> we found I'm another much cleaner we, than I used to be. We found another child who does it for fifteen. So sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> You got undercut, Jeremy. Hit the bricks. This is business. Mark Cuban came by with his $15 house vacuuming service. <laughs> it's a robot, you see. So it's, I'm sorry to say that automation is taking your job, Jeremy. That's, also, ten, 10 minutes? I'm not sure he was doing a very good job. That's, I think he we can all agree under on that. Stuff. It's not a good vacuum job this child did. So it, was, it may have been a $5 vacuum job. If you want your house vacuumed, call me. I'll I, do it for I, 19 tw- tw- $25, but it'll be cleaned by a man. And I will show you how a man cleans a house. <laughs> yeah, a child's not going to do it. I'll show you how a man Whoa, it. Justin, that vacuum cleaner's pretty big. Are you sure you can... Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's no problem. I'll throw it on my back like a Ghostbuster. And you can get, like, business cards that says, like, I'll suck this shit out of your house carpet. 